Hello. Um, I did say that I was going to come back and show you the results of my interlocking. It is, I'm on central time, so it is approximately 10 till 12 right now. Took me a little longer because I kind of had to stop. I didn't start until like around 6.30. So 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30. Well, it, only it took me five hours. It took me a little longer, but I did take a break. So I guess all in all, it probably took about four, four and a half hours. So right now I have these two right here that I haven't done yet. Um, I did all the ones in the back. Just, I don't know, I just kept going. Um, I'm also using my honey olive oil gel mixture. And I just kind of tamed it a little bit. So I'm going to do this one right here and show you how easy, 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 easy this is. Okay. So I got like a glare in here. Yeah, that's better. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So first, um, I do it either way. Sometimes I do it um you know uh all the four way sometimes I do it the three way and sometimes I do it the two way just depend on how I feel because when you're doing these go through loop it through it's not you know it's very time consuming so and you see the handle how I don't it's just it's so much easier and it could fit the smallest as well as the, the thickest braids um, I mean locks and that's what I like about it because some of my locks I do have combined uh, let me see yeah that's pretty good right there I don't like to make this the front um, too 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 tight I may go one more no I'm good I'm not going to go one more with that one. And I just take like a little bit of the honey gel mixture and kind of, you know, run it through a little bit just to smooth this part down. Okay, so I have one more in the front right here. Yeah. Put that one over there too. Now this is just the keep it down so that it's not all crunchy looking. You really don't need to use any um, clips in your hair. So because this is in the front and I like to try to smooth everything down. So once again, I'm going to take it. I'm taking it over. I'm not taking it under. Um, I just kind of go whatever way I really feel like going. Um, I'm going to go under. Because you know it goes, you can go north, south, um, east, west, south, north, west, east, or however people say it. And honestly, I first learned this on YouTube, how to do it. Um, and I brought that, you know, the tool that you get from like Michaels or the crochet tool. And it was always snagging my hair. And I absolutely hated the fact that it was um, snagging my hair like that. So I actually um, think that's tight enough. When it's small like this, you definitely don't want it too tight because it could take your hair out. But you want it tight enough where so that's it right there as you can see it and I could take these clips out I guess in the back and um, kind of show you how it looks I just put like clips a few clips throughout while I was doing it um just because I was putting that honey gel in there and I had a lot of frizzies, you know, how when, because I go every six months in doing this, which I may cut it down every three months, but it, 
I'd rather do it every six months and then just retwist because my hair is like so much thicker. It was really thinned out when I was doing it, um, just the interlocking. But because of that, I need to show a really thick one. This one might be good. But like it, little hairs like right there will sit up. And as you can see right here, you can see where I interlock. It's kind of crazy. See that? That's like where I twist and where I interlock and where it's, you know. So you can kind of see it throughout my hair. And what I have to do is kind of take and just try to smooth that down a little bit so that it doesn't look as bad. Now, some people be like, oh, well, I don't want my locks looking like that. They're, you know, it's hair. And I'm doing what is making me comfortable. Um, the interlocking works with me because um, I work out like every day. So it is a very good thing to interlock your hair when you work out because it just keeps it. Um, you don't have to worry about it unraveling. You don't even have to worry about it unraveling when you um, when you wash it. So that's why I like it. So um, I'm going to show you the back. I'm going to try to bring this forward a little bit. So I'm assuming you can see a lot of growth. I know I have. I definitely have noticed that um, it's grown a lot. And mainly, the, the main way that I've noticed that it's grown is because it hangs on my shoulders like that. So, I'm happy with it. Um, of course, I think my hair has grown a lot quicker too because, one, I keep my hands out of it a lot. And I don't interlock as much. I don't even retwist a lot. I semi-free form for like two, three months. And then I'll twist and then I'll interlock every six months. So it just kind of worked for my hair. It's one back here that I want to show you. If I can, you see that one? Because I had to combine it. It was a little dread that I had started, a little teeny one, but it was thin. So what I did was I, oh, let me see. I put it together and then I put like a rubber band right there, if you can see it. So that I can interlock it together easier. But I'm going to keep that rubber band right there right now. Just hopefully it will combine together with no problem. And now throughout my hair as well. I have. Um, I, I sold a few. I had a lot of two headed dragons. So I decided to sew them instead of cutting them off. I only cut maybe two or three. Well no I cut like four or five of them off. And I didn't want my hair to be real thinned out or whatever. So I sold them and then it just kind of got on my nerves seeing the strings. <laughs> so I just kind of popped them and cut the strings out of some of them. I might still have strings hanging um, for ones that might have already came apart or I popped apart. Anyway, that is how I interlock. Like I said, I use this tool right here. Um, wonderful tool. I when I upload this, I would try to put the lady's information at the bottom. It didn't have a website. She only had her name and her number. Maybe she does have a website now. I did not go to the World Hair Show this year. But this is a godsend. I would like to purchase one more, especially before I go overseas. That way, I can have two of these if I need it. Um, I've only used this maybe three times it's cut down my time from doing it it took about eight hours to do it myself eight eight yeah about eight nine hours and I would literally be up all night doing it because I normally would just you know start my hair a little later in the evening and it would take me to like three or four in the morning to do it and I was just like and I would only do it on the weekend when I was working because that was the only time that I can see me taking eight hours to do it so I do still have that other tool which I was using this one I don't use this anymore this latch hook um, takes your hair out it's, it's just too difficult and it's just easier for me not to use it 
So, but I still have it, you know, just in case. I also know how to make my own tool. And I think as I stated in another video out of, no, I told, um, uh, uh, what is his name? What I told someone on YouTube, I'll put his name in the, in the, um, in the box at the bottom. But I was talking to him, which is something dangling. Nehemiah, that's his name. Um, that I made my own tools as well. And you can make it a real simple tool that you can kind of keep at work or you can just do that instead of buying one and you can make it this size or you can make it a little smaller. It's just not gonna have this handle. And you can make it out of a, um, a paper clip and some tape. And I remember when I would be at work sometime and I would be bored, I would literally sit there and combine my hair with one that I made. So yeah, you can make one yourself instead of going out and purchasing one. And I believe that even if you made one out of a paper clip and tape, it would be way more safer than um, using a latch hook. It's, to me, that just takes your hair out and I, I just don't like that. So that's my demonstration. Um, hopefully you saw it pretty well. I don't have the best lighting right now in this bathroom because it's night. Um, normally I have a little sunlight come through and that definitely helps. But yeah, so I am finally all done. And it took me four and a half hours versus eight hours. So yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.